Hi friends, it's been exactly three years since I've uploaded. I finished watching my 10 minute week video from three years ago and so many things has changed. I've graduated, no more school assignments unless I decided to pursue a master. I am job hunting. The market is weird, but I've also been pursuing a lot of social media or content creation work. Um, and design work as well. I have dyed my hair. It's now brown. <laughs> Just a little itty bitty things and new things I've experienced. New friends, new uh, travel tips. I've been traveling a lot and this is what the video is about. My trip to Panama City Beach in Florida. Not to be confused with Panama City in Panama, which is near the equator. I do plan to go there someday since I already started the research on activities. Oops. They have really cool historic sites. So this trip was set in July 2023. I know, it's been a couple months. It is currently fall. I don't know when I'll be editing this. It could be also released in winter. Who knows? <laughs> so going back to the story, this was in July on the weekend of 4th of July actually. It was super busy but if you know how to plan well and use your points, you'll be smart. Continuing on, this was also my boyfriend and I's first week of unemployment. We want to take this trip as a breather, refresh our memory on what we achieve, and uh, see how we want to pursue the next, the following half of the year. Um, as well as, you know, it's a read a book by the beach, listen to the ocean type of vibe. Relaxing, right? <laughs> also, the most amazing thing I loved during this trip was the food. And I will be talking a lot about the food. Also the firework. It was the most amazing firework I've ever seen in my life. Also the biggest. Yeah. Day one was a Sunday. We set off on our five hour road trip. I was a passenger princess, of course. And we went and stopped by Columbus, Georgia for some Tim Hortons. He got his coffee and I got myself a breakfast sandwich. The hotel we stayed at was Hyatt Place Panama City Beach slash beachfront. It was really nice because it has direct access to the beach and they accommodate beach chairs. Is that what they call beach chairs? For dinner, we went to a seafood restaurant called the Saltwater Grill. They have a 25,000 gallon saltwater aquarium and you can't miss it as soon as you walk in. The kids love it, the families love it, and that's why they're always busy. So call in to make a reservation if you have a big group. There was only two of us and there was also a quiet wait for a table. So we decided to take the bar seating, which there was zero wait. We ordered the bang bang shrimp, the lobster bisque for appetizers, and then uh, shrimp and grits and prime rib for the entrees. There was no room for dessert, but every each of the items was delicious. I would definitely go back again. And that was our night. Day two is a Monday. I woke up like this. And I started off my skincare routine with Kiehl's Calendula Cleanser. I have used it for wow. over six years and I got my boyfriend hooked on it as well. Next, we have the Watermelon Toner from Glow Recipe. It's a little travel pack that you get from Sofa or a birthday gift. And I really like the consistency even though I'm not used to it. It feels dewy in my hand, but afterwards, it doesn't feel dewy, but very hydrating. Next, sunscreen. I brought two face sunscreen to test out. Innisfree on my left side and Skin Aqua on my right side. They're both SPF 50 plus, but the number of the bottle doesn't matter. It's about how often you reply throughout the day. Innisfree comes out the bottle white. Once blended in my skin, it gave me a white cast. Skin Aqua came out a purple tint. Once blended in my skin, it was translucent. Once applied to my skin, the Innisfree texture left it matte, while the Skin Aqua was more dewy. After my sunscreen, I finished my makeup and put on my outfit and left for lunch. For lunch, we walked across to Diego's Burrito Factory where I curated my own nacho bowl. It was a perfect beach food. Once we arrived at the beach, it was super crowded. You can find no beach chairs available close to the water, but it's okay. We decided to sit in the back row with our books and make sure the umbrella can cover us both. And then my phone start ringing because it's time to reapply sunscreen. Here I'm trying to reapply the same half and half I did at the hotel room. 
you can see I'm sweating off the Innisfree um, white cast. Well, the translucent one, Skin Aqua, was much better to use in a moist situation. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so weird. With this test, I've learned I'll be using Skin Aqua um, or translucent sunscreen when I'm outside sweating. And for the matte sunscreen with white cast, it's best to use under makeup for sure. Time flies at the beach, listening to sh waves crash, pinging up seashells at the seashore, and then read 10 pages before passing out. And then it's time for dinner. Oh, I actually miss this place. We went to dinner at Uncle Ernie's. And because it's by the port, facing the sea, it has a beautiful view. It makes all the dinners very memorable. This place is also really packed. So if you want to eat there, call in or make a reservation online or do those online wait lists. Those are what I did and saved us a lot of wait time. Once we sat down, I ordered our strawberry basil mocktail. It was really refreshing. And he got the crab cake for appetizer. It's pretty decent size, but I personally wouldn't order again because it's not worth the price. But do you know what's really worth it? I got the Mary Lou's Capellini with shrimp. It is angel hair pasta drizzled with olive oil, super light. And he got the grilled grouper with cheese grits. The cheese grits was really well seasoned. I'll eat that again. And that was it. That was dinner. I really, really miss this place. I miss the vibe of this place. It is historic too. So definitely check it out. Day three was a Tuesday and I started off with a morning rain. I got dressed and headed down to the hotel lobby for breakfast. Breakfast over and then we headed to the beach. Question, have you ever been on the beach after a rain? It's actually really nice for walking. <laughs> That night, we decided to hit dinner early and went to a That Cajun Place Cafe. It is a Cajun restaurant dedicated to the Louisiana cuisine of Creole food. Please excuse the audio change. My mic just went out of battery. And first off, I ordered a root beer float. Then we got some wings, Caesar salad, and shrimp creole. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Shrimp creole. Last but not least, half a dozen Rockefellers, which I destroyed. With a full stomach, we decided to head back to the beach because it is 4th of July. And 4th of July means fireworks. But first, my boyfriend needs his caffeine. So we went to somewhere called Tiki Mike's. It's a little hut with just a to-go window. We got one of their exotic iced tea and it was delicious. And then it's time to go. Day four, it was a Wednesday. Panama City Beach has been such an amazing food scene for us. We want to have lunch one last time there. This place I will not name because I actually didn't like the food that much, only because I had to send the food back. I know due to the fact that weekend was so packed, everyone who's working is super tired. And I will count that as a factor of the quality of food that came out. Honestly, everyone's just trying their best. They care to ask me if I want a second dish to order. I, would, I was very grateful, but due to the time restraint, I wasn't able to, but I understand. I understand everyone is just trying their best. But for that, I will go back to the city again. Anyways. I fully enjoyed the amount of places we have been in Panama City Beach that I would love to come back next summer. I hope you enjoy my story, my itinerary, and maybe you guys can go at it. Let me know if you guys have places you recommend or don't go. Remember to subscribe. I don't know what else to say. Follow me on Instagram. I am making more shorts videos now. Not fully saying I am committed to this because who knows when the next time I upload. Maybe next year. Bye-bye.